ऑनरेबल स्पीकर अंडरग्राउंड केबलींग आशिले तुम जाना ते फूल गोया ते अंडरग्राउंड केबलींग वॉज गोईंग ऑन एंड वन ऑब्जर्वेशन आई वॉन्ट टू मेक वायल अंडरग्राउंड केबलींग इज द नीड ऑफ द आर बिकॉज हुई कैले थिंग वी आर हैविंग नो पॉर फेलियर्स बट वेर अदर प्लेसेस इज नॉट डन इट स्पेशली वॉट आई वॉन्ट टू टॉक इज अबाउट डिगिंग ऑफ द रोड रस्ते फोड़े दे हैव डग इट अप लाइक एज इफ देर इज नो टू मॉरो एंड इट्स वेरी बेडली डग अप सम प्लेसिज देव डग आउट इवन विदाउट एनी साइंटिफिक मैनर और बेसिस डिगिंग इन द मिडल ऑफ द रोड मेकिंग इट डिफिकल्ट वी हैव इन गोलजुए इन कोर्जुए द रोड कंप्लीटली डग अप पीपल आर एक्चुअली फॉलोइंग इन साइड इन कारोना पांत पीपल आर ऑल्सो फॉलोइंग एंड आई थिंक दैट दीज थिंग्स इन लांकड़े ऑल्सो Uh, people should not suffer at the end of the day we need to be proactive to make sure that whatever work is being done is uh, care and precaution is being taken it can't be abdicating our duty that this one has not done that one has not done i think you need to have some team in work so that we can work i know that there is heavy rain also now but i think something can be done quickly other thing now i want to point out honorable speakers we have problems frequently at certain transformers and those i will just mention three trans uh, four transformers we are getting one is at basara which is on the giri feeder we have that martha dtc which is in uh, golzwe which falls in our uh, kozwe village the karona transformer every day we are having low voltage every day we are having power failure and in borwon wado nationala that it's called nationala borwon a transformer every time we are getting complaints on this uh, on the group honorable speaker i want to also mention am ka kita yata kita we have got a helpline group we got a helpline in whatsapp we have created so as to help the people complaints are coming to us and when we ask them have you not informed the department 1912 to sol namuntat it just doesn't work and what i have a suggestion to the honorable minister is instead of centralizing at one number and having difficulty in connecting or getting back to the concerned section office if you can try to decentralize this so it can be either the division level or the section level or subdivision level whatever way so that the complaints can go and they can reach faster they can attend and they can be prompt otherwise keeping it centralized in one place and you don't connect and you can't pass down the message the problem becomes that it will not be effective whatever best intentions you may have there is one more aspect i want to ask honorable speaker to the honorable minister is there is so much fluctuation of of uh, current that it is even damaging equipment has the government worked out on anything for uh, making good the losses which people suffer on account of the fluctuations uh, there's a request i have got as far as underground cabling the underground cabling which was inaugurated by the honorable minister excluded two villages of nashnola and moira so only those two remain now because if we can have underground cabling if you can do by that 10% variation if you can exercise that clause and you can give them the work it can be covered i will be very grateful i also say that in view of this kind of rising uh, tree falling and this uh, line snapping uh, we would need one bucket mounted crane for division number 17 because presently we have one which is with division 16 Six division six, and it is covering a very large area, so we are not getting that. And then we have to be waiting on the day when it's free. As far as staff is concerned, uh, we have got. Uh, I think we have deficient staff. I won't say sufficient staff. We have deficient staff. I will give the list to the honourable minister of what we have got, because if you look at it, uh, we have got eleven transformers but three staff. at some places we got seven tran 17 transformers but three staff is becoming very difficult to manage and there's another thing which i have also spoken to your, the chief engineer teen staff at tanna oi tat tanna dog jana os pa jay so if this ro old zaler problems ata he cannot go alone he can't climb the ladder and he can't hold the ladder himself so you understanding what i'm saying it is you require pairs so if, if this can be worked out to give the pair then i have a request for restructuring of our entire subdivision in aldona constituency we have two subdivisions operating one is which looks after moira and uh, nationala and the rest bastora ukasai 
Nashnola, Pumburpa and Aldana is coming under a different subdivision. So if you could amalgamate and make that both into one, logistically, technically and also operation-wise it will work out if you have everything under one subdivision, which will be Aldana subdivision. Because you know presently we are having Division 6 and Division 17. So if that can be brought in. Because if you know that uh, Division 6 is looking after Aldana, Kitla, Olauli, Pumburpa, Okasain, Bastara, Parra, Vela, Kanka, Giri, Arpur and Nagwa. So it becomes so much in a vast area. And our areas are also big in operation. There is one more aspect which I want to bring to the notice of the Honourable Minister. To me, Zanat, that Goa is very beautiful and we have always loved Goa the way we have seen it. The beauty of Goa lies in our greenery, in our buildings, heritage or otherwise. But what is happening today is, there is a splurge of advertisement on your electrical poles. There are boards which are coming up, such huge boards which are coming, which spoil the beauty and spoil the visual content for any tourist to see. If I go to take a photograph, I don't want that photograph of some casino or something over there. Goa was always known for it. Any photographer will want photographs without those boards. So how would you manage it? Because you are going to earn a certain amount, but tourism department is spending so many crores of rupees to promote tourism. I think you can ask for compensatory loss from the tourism department, which is not much because I think you're getting about one crore or something like that. You can ask for that. Because think of international people. You're going, not going to want a photograph to have some casino or some roulette or some game or something like that there on those boards coming up. And I think that destroys the very essence of tourism. When I was coming from Margao in initially on the Verna bypass, it was beautiful. You could see coconut trees, you could see mango trees. Suddenly big, big boats started coming up. This Agasai bypass, it was so beautiful till now. Along the roadside there are boats, in the fields there are boats, on your poles, electric poles there are boats. I don't know where are we going to go with all those boats. So I would request you cut it off. Long back, if I'm not mistaken, somewhere in the 1990s, 98 or 99, when Mauvin Gudino was the Minister of Power, Tenna Ek Kallolo, visual pollution mode. Ani Kallole. Reason might have been different. But they used a technique using the word visual pollution. Ani Aozana, I only appeared in the High Court to defend that decision. So that is why I know about this technique which was used. They have said, no, you get distracted if you say the board you meet with an accident. And of course, we won the matter in the High Court. But that is what I want to tell you. It's not from that point of view, but it's point of view of destroying the beauty and character of Goa. Honorable Speaker, the next I would like to speak about demand number 86, which is new and renewable energy. Uh, you have this PM Surya Ghar, this for the solar, uh, this thing. Uh, central uh, subsidy scheme is up to 78,000 and mostly people apply above 3KW. Uh, so they avail this 78. There are some discrepancies and modalities on implementation. I'm told that your department is working on these uh, aspects to fine tune it. But a problem is that the JE and the AE don't know how to use this, uh, the portal. The admin panels, I'm told, cannot even see applications which are online. If they access the system, they should know how many applications are pending, how many have been filed, how many are closed. They don't have this access. And uh, I'm told that there's no system also for tracking an application which they can have access to. I'm told that with your predecessor's time, Nilesh Cabral's time, there was an offline time limit which was given uh, to fill in, suppose there was lacuna, there deficiency, but I think now today nothing is coming. So it's automatically, you file, you submit online, and then you are waiting for like, God to help you. Uh, if there is a request for increase of load in solar, suppose it is, say, six to nine, you're moving up, I'm told that the process is very, very cumbersome and quite uh, difficult. If something can be worked out to expedite this process, either finally they are paying you and you will get it. And if there's a benefit which the department takes of getting the excess going into the grid, I think it will come to the system itself. That is all I have to say. I'm obliged.